Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know only. My name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Today, I've been wanting for ages to work on this bridge. I mean, I like the road and I love the, uh, the street lights and everything, but it has always seemed like there should be something more with this bridge. I'm talking about this motorway one, by the way, at the moment. Eventually, we'll do a bridge. In fact, I've got a plan for the bridge for this rail one as well. And there'll be a smaller one there uh, for that one. But I want to work on the big one today. Oops. And I want to do something similar to what we've done on the last one. If you remember way back to the last Let's Build a City, we done a big sort of uh, Golden Gate Bridge style one. And it was a red bridge. And it had the big pillars, and then they sort of dropped down, you know, the wire suspension bridge style. Um, similar to how we've done a few times on Polybridge. Remember that game? That was a good game. And um, this time, I want to do a similar thing with the suspension bridge, because it's such a wide bridge. It's going to look awesome. Uh, it's not really, I don't think it's as long as the last one, but it's still going to work out really well. I want two two uh, or four in total like two pairs of pillars and then and then join all the bits together but instead of doing it red which i think sort of uh, stood out a little bit too much i want to do it in a gray uh, maybe a darker gray than the cobblestone walls and the stone bricks but something lighter than the road and i think probably clay like a dark clay would be the best for that with a lighter bottom platform uh, apart from that, the only other thing that I didn't like about the last bridge on the last series is that there was nothing underneath it. We sort of just kept the uh, bottom of the bridge like this. And after doing a little bit of research on, on these types of large bridges, they actually usually have some sort of... Um, how do you... Like, 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 a, like a scaffolding underneath the bridge so we need to work on that now i have already pre-found the what i'm going to call the center the middle of the bridge it's 50 blocks in from that line of grass and a 50 blocks in approximately from around about here okay because this piece of grass as you can see goes diagonally so i've sort of taken the middle point if you like so if that's going to be the middle this is going to be where the suspension wires, the steel suspension uh, rope almost, is going to go up that way and up that way. So now what we need to do is we need to find the point between here, which is the middle point, and the dead end, which is going to be 25 blocks either side of this. So if I go, if I click that with my left button and I click here, Let's say with my second button, I do copy, 27, if I do there, 25. Okay, beautiful. So, that's going to be where the first pillar is going to be. And then we want to do the same on this other side. So, we want to go from here, and then I'm going to guess right there, 27. I've done 27 twice, 25 right there. Okay, I was only two blocks off. That's not too bad. So, that's given us... The sort of uh, uh, A-frame that we want to have here, okay? Going to be really cool. So let's grab some clay. I think we want... I think the uh, the grey stained clay, cyan sorry, stained clay, is probably going to be our best bet for the pillars because, like I said, it's darker than the road. Uh, or lighter than the road, but darker than the other parts of the bridge. So it should stand out and look really metally. That's what I want. I want metally style look. And then for the base the bottom we probably want a lighter block i'm thinking either the gray wool could be a nice texture this mossy stone but that is a little bit of a a black of a blank color for the bottom of it <sighs> nether brick but that does blend in very much with the road itself i don't think we have that much more of an oops i picked up pink wool a uh, pink dye. I don't think we really have that much of an option. We've got that steel material and then all of those are sort of mods and not exactly blocks, are they? Hmm. So it's between... It's between... I think I'm going to go with light grey wool. I know it's wool and it sounds weird, but I think it will work really, really well. And then for the suspensions, obviously we don't want the cobblestone wall that has the line in the middle, but you can potentially have this one, which is more of a blank one, or we can use iron bars. 
uh, which is another option. We also have this pole, pole line iron, which I think works. Yeah, it's basically a cobblestone wall, but like with a miniature, a miniature scaffolding. Look, I don't think I don't think I like that. There is some really cool stuff with the uh, train mod though. That might sort of work for this. Let's have a quick poke. Nothing in there. We've got these sort of uh, scaffolding walkways. And then we've got these scaffolding frameworks. This could work really well for underneath it. We've done this in the airport hangar. But it doesn't, it doesn't give me that... That diagonal look that I want. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it looks cool. It's a cool block. And it's got a really cool sound. But I don't think it works that well. And all those are the mirror blocks. No. Okay. Okay. We'll go with that then. So, first pillar. We want to have a pillar that goes straight up here. Obviously not going through the path though. That would... S or do we want it like... In the middle? Because this is like a hard shoulder. Or would you want it on... The no, you want it in the middle. Otherwise it's not going to join up with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, that would be there. There. And I think for the pillar size... I think we probably want this shape, this sort of plus shape. It should be big enough to look sh strong enough, but it shouldn't be so big that it looks out of scale to the rest of the uh, bridge. It should work pretty well. It should work pretty well. So, let's, um, I suppose we'll just sort of go up to an amount. I mean, how many blocks high do we want to go? If we click on this bottom one again... Like that, and we go up to the top, and then I just copy, it'll tell me how high it is. 21 blocks, 22, 23, 24, 25 blocks, that's a nice high above the, um, what are they called, street lights. And I don't think it's going to look too tall, because we need to be careful, because these ropes that we're going to put in these steel, the, the, the steel, what, I can't remember what they're called, but the steel sort of uh, supports... I want to sort of arch slightly, and I think that's probably as good as we're going to get. I could probably put another pillar in there and another pillar in over there if we wanted to, and have, instead of four, I could have another one there. I might I might do that. We might see how it goes. Okay, I think that's a pretty good um, uh, height. What number is that? 159.9. So if I go from here, oops. From here to there, set 159.9, and from there to here, one more there. Okay, that looks pretty good for the moment, and then we'll drop this down underneath the bridge, which are going to be those ones. Oops. Like that. Now we want this to drop down just, I think, one block above the water and then stop with that. And then this is where the grey wool section starts. Very much like how, um, how GTA, if you ever go underneath a bridge in a boat in Grand Theft Auto, there's always this base platform that the, the bridge sits on. And it looks really, really cool. Let's do it on the other side. We want to bring this back underneath we want to ooh, let me out from the bridge there is the middle one is that the middle one no that's not the middle one that's the edge one ooh, I'm falling again that's the middle one and down to yeah that's the right height isn't it now at the moment this platform is looking oh why am I off Oh, I am off. It should be this one. It doesn't matter. It's just actually saved me a little bit of time. It should be this one. Ugh. It looks a little bit small, in my opinion, at the moment. That's got to go up there. Like that. I think that's how it should be. But it does look uh, a little bit thin. I think it maybe could be... A, a, to, 
could do with being a little bit wider. I don't know. I'll carry on and I'll see what it looks like. But anyway, you guys see the gist. I'll fill that in with the wool. I want to put the pillar up there, a pillar up there, a pillar up here, and a pillar on the other side. And that would cover the water part. But I think to make the bridge look a little bit longer, I might put another one in here. I think we've got the room for it. And I think it would look better. I'll do it and I'll be back. I might even ah, I might even make the water a little bit bigger here because what are we going to place? What are we going to build underneath here? Now, nah, I, I don't want to waste that much space. I'm sure we can find something to go under the bridge. Okay, I should be back. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the six beams. I've got all the uh, the bottom all done as well. I think it looks really cool. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. There's no cheating and it's not floating. No, it's all structurally sound. So now I think what we want to do is uh, is put in these archways that go in. Now we really want two different types of blocks to do this. Really, I think... Unfortunately, in 1.7 Minecraft, we don't have the iron bars that are, like, stick thin. That came in in, I think, 1.9 on PC. So we can't have the uh, the little tiny thin poles unless, unless we can find something else that does it. Maybe a default, not a default block doesn't do it. You want it to be really thin. <sighs> Nether brick. That's thinner than a wall. Okay, so we have we have another option. And the colour is right. That might be our only option. I can't see any mods doing what we want. I can't see there being like a, a ridiculously thin block. I just can't see it happening. Even in here, shaft. I have no idea what shaft does. There's a big scaffold block. I don't know if I like... I don't think it's... I think it's the colour that's probably not letting me like it. Line pole. Oh, it's a cobblestone wall. <laughs> Just call it a cobblestone wall. Um, I think that's about it. What are these fluorescent lights? Oh, they're cool. I don't know if they actually give off light or not. Yeah, they do. Sweet. Oh, I like them, but not for the bridge. Okay, anyway. So, what we want to do is we want to have these mossy walls go from here and join up to the top of those. And in a sort of a slow, gentle arch, if possible... And then we want these brick fences to go up between, like this. And they and they sort of join up and connect to them. Something like that, okay. So let's try and pull this off. We want this to go here. Now, a gentle curve would mean it starts off with, like, three blocks... And then goes up, for, I'm going to say three blocks, then another three blocks, then two blocks. Oh no, we've done, that's just two blocks. Technically, it's three blocks. Me, when I say three blocks, it sort of means four. <laughs> like one, two, three, four. But when I put a block on top here, it's three blocks before the next one starts. It's just, everyone has their own way of, um, of sort of making sense of things okay i think it is two okay we've got four four three two 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 and then i think we'll probably start at the top here and work our way down now if we probably want it an exact circle now it's 25 blocks from here to here and it's 25 blocks up which should mean that if we'd done a straight diagonal, it would line up straight to there, wouldn't it? It's That's what it should mean. So if I come down here, and I go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. No, I needed another 4 one. 4. 1, 2, 3. I think I can probably do another 3. 1, 2, 3. 
Nope. Like that. And then do another one like that. So we've got two sets of fours. And then three sets of threes. Here we've got two sets of fours. And... One, two, three sets of threes. Now, will that join up exactly? I don't know if it's going to join up exactly. Because it all depends. If we're just one block out on the height. Or on the start. Then it's not going to join up exactly. But we're so awesome that it does. <laughs> okay, wonderful. That's so sick. That's going to look so cool. And then every other block, we're going to put one of these. I can't put them next to each other because obviously the fences join up. And uh, I don't want that to happen. I just want these to be like straight cords that go uh, directly upwards. So we can have these going down here. Now, I'm pretty sure that we only need to do this one. And I can use World Edit to copy and paste the rest of them, which is fortunate because, well, it's actually not that hard to do, is it? It was two sets of four, and then like three sets of three, and then it was all diagonal for the rest. So it wouldn't take long if I couldn't do it by World Edit, but I think, I think I can. So let's uh, get this one finished off here. Oh, 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 and uh, one more is all I can fit in. Which is perfect because it doesn't touch that line either. It doesn't like do that on the edge. Which is perfect. Okay, the happy accidents of using the odd numbers. That's why why I use odd numbers so much in Minecraft. Uh, like five block wide garages and stuff. It Not only does it look good. It just helps so much later on when you're joining stuff up. Okay, wonderful. So uh, I should be able... To click here and click here and then it might be easier if I stand right th here on this wall copy it if I can spell copy nope that's, that's not still how I spell copy copy come over to this pillar and if I do all the pillars facing one way first <coughs> I should then be able to flip them and do it the other way paste minus a Boom, there's one in, and then I can do another two here and another two there, and then just rotate it. Should work. Or flip it would probably be easier. Paste. I love the grey. I'm so glad that on this series we've gone for a grey and not like a red or a yellow. I love, I love the red and yellow bridges, especially in Minecraft. They do look so cool. But I just wanted to try something that looked a little bit more metallic and uh and uh, it, I, I wanted to look like it went thung if you flicked it with your finger do you know what i mean you get that sort of sound okay this is so cool okay um i want to flip it now flipping is always a tricky one to do because sometimes it works the right way and sometimes it doesn't yeah this time it didn't undo in fact it didn't seem to oh it's flipped it the other way, hasn't it? Okay, I should put them on the other way and I shall be back, okay? Okay, okay, sweet. So, I think we'll just join up the two bottoms like this on those four sections. It looks totally awesome, but it's now looking like it's wibbly wobbly at the top. There's no structure holding them sort of in place. Now, this is a very, very wide bridge, so we have two options. Option number one is to put a third pillar in the middle that goes up and then we can join them together with horizontal bars. Option number two is to, rem is to ignore having a third pillar and just join them up directly. Now, oh, that's not right. That one's not right at all. What has gone on here? Something is terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> what is, what is this? What is this? What is that? Okay, um, I need to fix that first, don't I? I didn't notice that. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I've fixed it at last. So, uh, what was I saying? We had, yeah, those two options. And obviously we need to do something with the top here. We don't want to just like being cut off like that. Even just adding one block makes it look so much better but i want to have 
something at the top and I'm not a hundred percent sure there's a few things that we can do the first one is actually making these a little bit taller having a, maybe like four or five blocks taller then having a horizontal bar that goes across in fact let's do it let's just do it I haven't got much time left for this episode but that's one higher that's two higher that's three higher four higher five higher and I'm going to put that on top because I like that on top. And then I'm going to go two. No, I'm going to go the same height as these wires. And I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way across to the other side. So that comes all the way across to there. And it's going to be three blocks wide. Did I miss a block? I missed a couple of blocks. So we're going to put the block here. And then another line on the other side along there looks like we'll have to finish this off next episode because we've still got the bottom to do and maybe some other details and stuff can go in there and um, what do we say five high here one two three four five and then one on the top because i like it and then we want i think this light gray wool we're going to use as this sort of pattern so that means here we're going to have another row of three yeah. yeah 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 okay so we'll have this one that comes along here in fact i can do this with world edit to make it quicker from there to there set to 159.9 and then we can get our gray wool to go like this and I think that's gonna really have this is the sort of look that we want on the side uh, of the the bridge as well as it goes down either side underneath the road it's that same sort of pattern that you want there there and there now I don't know if this is gonna work out to go up to the corner exactly correctly our luck says that it usually does, which it has. I don't know how I do that. You can imagine it being just to that block, and then it's one block off. It just sometimes sometimes works out how you want. Okay, that looks totally, totally awesome. I don't think it needs the third pillar in the middle. I think that will ruin the effect of the bridge if we do that. But we do need to do this another two times and we need to work out the bottom of the bridge as well so we'll have to leave that for next episode if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe we shall see you in the next episode